credit for this uh, starter stick goes to Jay Miller here on the YouTube. This is just my version of a video that Jay Miller uploaded as to how to build this thing. So, just using the material I had at hand, and this is where I'm at up to now. A quarter inch thick aluminum plate as a sliding base. The U bolts to each rail, loosen them up, and you can slide it up and down with limitations of infinity adjustment in its range. Forward starter, flat head. I went on ahead and got that rubber roller in route. And we'll turn that coupling shaft to suit that diameter's one with its arrival. Well, you know, if you if you've got an old flathead forward starter, a couple of them shoved underneath the workbench over there. If you have a forward flathead starter. This right here comes off. Um, we'll saw this off as per J. Miller's specifications. But uh, I need a celluloid to go along with that and this is another Ford type with a little dust on it it does say 12 volt on it so I think we'll put this one into play lucky but this is what we have to work with this one has a Ford part number on it. it's a motorcraft so I'm just saying so but, but what, 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 what we'll do is I'm going to mount this sure just yet we'll have to think about that you know i went on ahead and put a patch on that tube right there but you know i don't expect much good results out of that patch i put some glue on there you know rubbed it in real good but i don't expect much out of it i'm just saying
get that thread gauge, see what that thread pitch is right there. What, uh, what I did, I'll tell it to you. Uh, I touched that bit off there. You just saw it. Made a little shiny place all the way around that shaft. So that give me a zero on my dial over here. Well, see, I've been fumbling around over here, and I done got that an awful zero. So I'm going to put it about right there and see what happens. But uh, you can see the setup there. And uh, that's going to be one of them three-quarters. Uh, the tap... Uh, uh, that's a three quarter and a number ten thread. You know that's that national course, that big old thread. I happen to have a nut over there in the uh, in the box, and uh, so that's what we'll go with. And and uh, and I guess the reason is to at this point to make sure I'm getting ten threads per inch on to my shaft going by my gear ratio that I done already changed out inside the housing there. It's still a little, this this machine's too fast to be threading on. That's the only drawback on the whole machine. It, it don't hold me up none, no. Uh, but this is, that's a number 10 on this, on that thread gauge right there. That's a union tool if you're worried about what brand it is. I accept it in all manner of measurement. But if you put that on any one of them and then you look at it, it's uh that's a number ten thread right there. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it to depth now. And and, and then in lieu if you if I didn't have that if I didn't have that thread gauge over then, then I would bring this tap into play and you can position this tap with the threads on two matching up do, 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 down like that right there and line them up uh, I'm looking at a different angle than y'all are I'm sure but you you can see if I cut a hole with this with this three quarter by ten thread it would fit Cut thread to fit. That's on that Grizzly G9972Z. To explain To explain what it is, y'all listen up, what I did today, I done had it out for show and tell, so, for what it is, uh, all, all credit, all the credit up to this thing right here goes to Jay Miller uh, video here on YouTube 
this is my version of that starter stick. And I done already cut this off there to about that five and a half inches or so. And I had this much left over for another project. Whatever it would be. Or I could make some motor mounts for that flathead right there. Just saw off a donut. Machine a little cup out of aluminum top and bottom. I think it would look really good. Uh, keeping this in mind. And... Well, I got this, and also, I have two, uh, this right here is them little curly, I'll bring these to your attention here, just like, they're pretty good, so, that's them little, uh, It's a little swirly thing. So. But. This right here is what I do. So. If you look at that, if you look at that blueprint on that video that Jay Miller done already got up here on the YouTube, he got a, he got a blueprint for this thing right here. It's really nice. But if you follow that blueprint, this right here is what you made at the end of the day. This is what it looks like. Started out as a length of one inch bar stock. Oh, it was about 20 foot long when I got it. Sold that piece off, threaded it, turned it down. That right there is a, that's a three quarter 10. But, well, well, I'll go ahead and turn that in for grade. So, <clears throat> according to that blueprint, is you put a you put a washer right there, and then you press this. You you press this on here. I'm not going to do that right now, on there. And then you put another washer, and and then you put a lock nut up here. I don't have a lock nut just yet. So, but that's a good fit right there. And then, and, and that's the way that looks. <clears throat> okay, the next step, I, I just now getting to it, is I'm going to saw, I'm going to saw this, uh, I'll take that grinder to it and saw that uh, shaft off of that starter. And then this right here will be a good fit. Oh yeah, it is a good fit. <laughs> and, and but that'll be up here in this right right up here. And let's get that done. And, and there'll be a dial pin go through this right here. I'm just saying. That right there, that's one of them flathead starters right there. That's a five inch U-bolt. They're not the same. They're just what I have 